we are coming to you live this week from the Mardi Gras city of New Orleans, Louisiana to be said week 6 action here on Channel Me 2016. And here to get this party started is the host of Channel Me 2016, Brandon Shanks! Hello New Orleans! Are you ready to party? Yes, we are! And hello to you fans at home! Welcome to Little Williams, Louisiana for Week 6 Action on Channel 2016. And boy, do we have a party for you! While we finalize our stats, let's have our superstars to race to compete for wins on a quest for their playoffs to become a 2017 World Champion. So without further ado, tell us who we have first, Paul. Alright, first stop in our party tonight, we have John Miller, the newest member of the Miller family, along with Fred Harrison, Amir Jackson, and the computer whiz, Peter Foles. And we're going to do this on the power course again because we'll try to finalize our stats like we always do. But this should be an exciting one. Love to our first four players of the week. And please start the race! Alright, so they push the ball to your side. And whoever makes it to the finish line first. We're gonna win on a college was qualifying for the 2017 Chow Racing Playoffs at the end of this season. Who will get the first win of the party here in New Orleans, Louisiana? It's gonna be a Mule Jackson as he holds on Fred Harrison by a few inches. What a deal. So Amir Jackson got the victory. And he's doing a great job. He's celebrating like it's Fat Tuesday here in New Orleans, Louisiana. So he's above the 500 mark for the first time. Probably so. But anyway, let's immediately head over to race number two. That's right, race number two will feature Christopher Walker, the Bobby Media, Bobby K, Chris Schneider of the Gale Getters, and Zach Orison. And the players are lined up and ready to go. So without further ado, let's have a job race! And it looks like Bobby K is going to rest, so he will be left behind in the crowd. And the other three chow are pushing the balls to the other side. It's going to be an exciting one. These three chow are, are pushing the balls to the other side. Now they're going to make the cross finish line, and it looks like Christopher Walker holds off Zach Orison to secure an easy victory. Now he's above the 500 mark in his win loss record for the 2016-2017 season. Congratulations to him, and there's more exciting coming out from the New Orleans, Louisiana, so don't party out of here. We'll be right back. Okay, welcome back to our party, and yes, SOMEONE HAS TO GET A WIN ON THIS SEASON! Let's find out right now, Brandon, as Steve Wingman, Iron's Fabulous Warrior, Michael Garcia, The Battle Fusionist, Joe Pickles, and Red and Warren Shorante will be competing to find out who will get the first win after being winners in the first six races. So here we go! Please start the race! Alright, and it looks like Michael Garcia and Red and Warren Shorante are going to rest. That means Stealing Man and Shadow Pickles will be battling for the lead here. Both Stealing Man and Shadow Pickles, our entire warrior and the Metal Fusioners are battling towards the finish line. Which one of these superstars is going to get there first? It looks like the Metal Fusioners is going to get there first! And there you have it! Shadow Pickles! The other probably Metal Fusioners get his first win of his return season! For the 2016-2017 season, his massive 25th season in his illustrious career. Congratulations, Chalu, you've done pretty well. Alright, let us proceed to race number four, featuring the license to drive Alvin Heaton, Joey Atkinson, Thomas Linklater, and last year's runner up, Gary Coles. Alright, let's see who's gonna win this one. The players are one up and ready to go. Everyone is on the clock. And let's rock this place! Alright, and it looks like Gary Cole scored right, so let's watch Alvin, Joey, and Thomas. These three will have the opening edge. Right now it looks like Thomas Link Glad is, has was the strongest one of the three shots so far. 
And it looks like he's gonna hold on for the bit with Yep, he's gonna hold on by right there. Thomas Winkwater gets the win. So he moves one step closer to getting his shot for the 2017 playoffs. He was losing for a while, but now he's starting to catch up. Great job by Thomas Winkwater. Coming up, we'll continue the party with two-time world champion Jason Hill. But first, let's have a look at this sponsor. All right, Paul, let's continue our party. That's my right. race number five will feature Jason Hill, who won back-to-back -back titles in 2014 and 2015, as he takes on Graham Murray, the son of the license to drive Alvin Heaton Jr., and Howard Miller of the Miller Traders. Everyone is on the clock, and let's fuck this place! Alright, here comes the job, busting down the line. Which one of them will get the win this time? We'll find out soon enough. Right now, it's like how Miller has the lead, following in a close second by numbers 2 and 7, battling for second place. I think how Miller's gonna win this one if he doesn't go to best. Yeah, he should reach the finish line. How Miller gets the win. That's win number two for Al Miller. After slumming for a while, so now he has two wins up on his board for his 2016-2017 season. Still trying to get back in this one, but he's doing a okay. I think he'll do fine in the rest of the season, won't you? Alright, let's finish up the first half of our Mardi Gras with race number six. Featuring Kenny Days of the Days Brothers, Chris Renacos, or Oliver J. Upton, or Oliver J. Upton for short, and Jeff Naris. Alright, who will win this one? We're about to find out right now. Please start the race! Alright, so this is the uh, last race of the first half of our week six action before we head up to our half time break. And it looks like Chris Monaco seems like he's the only superstar that has an S rank in running. He is the only superstar to have 2,500 points or more. And he will get the win tonight. Easy victory by Chris Monaco. Great job. So now he is 4 and 3 in his debut season. He is above the 500 mark, and we will be right back with the second half of our Jerry's Mardi Gras style party after the break. Do not go away! Well, we had quite a party in the first half of our show, so let's have a blast with the second half. That's right, starting off the second half, a race from the seven, featuring Chris Nelson, Dave Miller of Bill Traders, Frank Fernandaro, and Raymond Hill. And I heard that David M Dave Miller has the best stat in strength or power. We'll find out soon enough. We start the race! And there goes Dave Miller, pushing the ball with all his might. He's sweeping the competition in the dust. And Dave Miller is our winner! That one was pretty easy. That was all too easy for Dave Miller. Congratulations to him. So now he is about 500 in his win loss record for the 2016-2017 season. Dave Miller trying to get back to the playoffs for another shot at entering the World Championship at the end of this season. Great job by Dave Miller. And now we move on to race number 8, featuring everyone's favorite Gundam style dancer Gary Dayton. The Jersey Devil, everyone knows and loves, John Stevenson, Larry Monroe, and the 2014 Rising Stars Champion, Steve Laymore. Good luck to these four players, and let's have a challenge! And it looks like Steve Laymore's going to so he will be left behind the crowd. Meanwhile, Gary Dayton, John Stevenson, and Larry Monroe are battling for the lead. He's reaching out, pushing miles to the other side. By now it looks like Gary Dayton has the lead over the free shot to come over. Larry Moore's fight on his tail in second, and Gary Dayton is our winner. You can do the Gotham style, fans. He is your winner of this race. And he's smiling today. He gets another win on his 2016-2017 win loss record. Great job. And we will present the remaining of our races after we find out about this. Alrighty then, still to come, we have an exciting main event featuring our defending champion, Walter Ball Princeton. That's, this should be very fun indeed. But right now, let's proceed to race number 9, featuring the Steel Curtain, Aaron Miller. 
Thou is the Master of Navarro, Adrian Rogetta, and Charles Son Watson. Alright, let's see who's gonna win this one in our exciting Chow Racing Money Gras Party. Here we go, we'll go to these next four competitors on the quest for victory, and let's rock this place! Here we go, we're off and running. And it looks like Dallas and Master Gerardo is going to rest. That means Aaron Miller, Adrian Roger, and Charles Son Watson will have the opening edge. But which one will really have control? We'll find out in just a matter of months. And it looks like the big winner is Aaron Miller! So the Steel Curtain gets another easy victory. As Dallas the Master Gerardo takes the only speed bus of the race. One of in fourth place. So the Steel Curtain has done it again. Aaron Miller gets another five victory on the board. Now in a hunt for the 2017 title. Okay, race number 10. Featuring the Hall Jing Master, Efron Kingsley. The young and talented go to Gisboro, Steven Robinson, and Eric Crosby. What's going to happen in this next race? We're about to find out right now. Everyone is on the clock. And we start the race! Here we go! And it looks like Eric Crosby has a pretty good strength over the 4 child at the current moment. He has to lead up over the 8 child on this race. Right now, the 4 child are pushing the balls to the other side. And it looks like no one else is going to catch up to Eric Crosby in time! Eric Crosby gets another easy victory on the board! Great job by Eric Crosby! So Eric Crosby gets another win towards his step to become the 2017 Chad Racing World Champion. And we will set the rest of the races including our main event after the break. Do not go away. Well Paul, I say we finish our party here in New Orleans this year. Alright, first we have Barry McKenna's, Tommy Days with the Days Brothers, Big Cherry himself, Casey Bakersfield, and Nick Gimmer. This is race number 11. And then we'll get to our main event in the next segment. Good luck to these four players. And let's rock this place. Here we go. And it looks like Casey Bakersfield is going to rest. So he will have a lot of catching up to do after his nap. But I don't think he'll catch up right now and then. By now it looks like Tommy Days and Nick Gimmick are battling for the lead. Both of them are inching neck by neck. And the winner of this bout is the Big Cherry himself, Tommy Days. So Big Cherry got the win as number 8 gets the speed and he scored the rest just like expected. So Tommy Days got the win and I think you know what time it is, Brandon. That's why let's send it to our main event this week. Alright Brandon, for this week's main event we have Corey Sanchester, our defending champion Walter Boro Craigson. Alan Holmes and the next generation superstar Antonio Bennett. And our main event this week is presented by Applebee's. Yes, it's a whole new neighborhood. It's full of neighborhood bar and grill. And home of your favorite recipes. Alright, let's do it. Let's close out our party with a bang. Everyone is on the clock. And let's have a challenge. Here we go for our main event. And it was like Corey Sanchez scoring best. So I think we're going to have a new superstar of the week this week. Don't you think? Yep, sure looks like it. But I was like, was World Quicks and Antonio better are going to be battling for the win? And here comes the champion going to guy. What was going to rest? So Antonio better gets the victory this week here in New Orleans. Antonio Ben, the next generation superstar, is this week's superstar of the week. For week six here on Jaw Racing 2016 in the Cajun State. And we'll be right back to wrap it all up after this. So don't touch that dial. Yeah, I know you're having fun. Uh, before we go tonight, we want to present our winners for the April tournament qualifying, which is held by Independent Adjudicator. The country is was Sweden, Australia, Pakistan, and Senegal. Siddhar Wedjols won in Sweden, Brian Leachman repeated as world champion in Australia, 
Tezan Alpan went to close one after his handoff last year in Pakistan. And the underdog, Groove Tasso, wins it all in Senegal. So congratulations to these four participants, and we'll see them in Spain for the Tournament of Champions. Well, that is it for Week 61 Channel AZ 2016, and boy, did we have a blast by right, New Orleans, right you are. We'll be back next week for another amazing show if we get it all in time. I hope we get it all soon. Anyway, keep on smiling, and we'll see you next time. So long, everybody! Paul Sykin was signing off. Join us again for another signing party here on Jowie's Day 2016. See you then.